Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to search for values in a cell to perform a lookup on some specific text. So let's say, for example, we've got this description here. And what we want to do is look up the names, some certain names in here, and bring back an account ID. So we have a table here, a unique table here, that has the customer names, Enterprise Services, Delivery Logistics, Resolute Care. And they're in here in this description somehow. And we want to pull out the account ID from this lookup table and put it over here. So it's going to be a combination of a lookup function and a search function. And I was browsing around for a solution on this, and, and I came upon Deborah Douglas's contextual site, and she had this uh, challenge on spreadsheet day. And the formula that she came up with was this index match if error formula. And she kind of put this challenge out to folks, and someone named Anchor put a really elegant solution to this using just lookup and search. And that's what I'm going to cover today on this one because although the previous formula was great, it also added a little bit of complexity because you have to initiate the current control shift enter keyboard to kind of uh, execute that array function. And uh, I found this particular uh, set of functions from Ancar that responded to her challenge uh, quite elegant. So I just wanted to kind of cover that here. Now the, the function is basically a search function within lookup. And what we do is we do search. Well, let's start out with the search function first and, sh and see what it does. So we do a search, and we'll, what we want to do is search uh, this particular set of values. And, and what we want to search in there, we want to search for uh, this, right? It's not going to enable it because it's basically an array. So what we do is we wrap this within a lookup function, which accepts arrays. So I'm going to have to put this search function within a lookup function. So I'm going to type lookup. I'll press tab to kind of start it out. And then the number 2 and 1 divided by the search function, the output of the search function. I have to put these as absolute cell references. So I'm going to press the F4 key. A couple, one time to get the dollar sign in front of the letter and the number, A2 and then A4, and leave that one alone because that's not going to change. Because when I copy the formula down, we want those values, that reference range, to stay the same. But for E2, that's going to be E2, E3, E4, E5 when this gets copied down, right? So I'm in the lookup vector, comma, the result vector is I want this result vector. And also, I want to have absolute cell references. Press F4 here to make sure the dollar signs are in front of the, the, the letters and the numbers. Close parentheses, press enter, and now, magically, I've got the account ID. So it looked up the right ID. It looked up Resolute Care here and brought back RC234. If I drag the fill handle down there, you notice that it picked it up there. If I try to type in anything else, let's just make up some stuff. Two things for, I don't know, delivery logistics, and it should come up with that, right? So it brought the formula down there. So let's see what's happening when uh, this particular function or set of functions are being executed. I'm going to bring up the formula evaluator. So under formula, go to evaluate formula, and it's going to look at the search function first. So it's going to look for this set of text, or this range of text, it's going to put it into an array in E6. Right, E6 is there. So it's going to find out that it's not going to see enterprise services there. It's going to see delivery logistics. So it sees it there, and that value, that, that error, that value error, it doesn't see resolute care in there. So in this particular array, it doesn't see it there, but it sees it in uh, there, 14. That's why it brings back a number. And that number 14 is the character place that it finds it in. So if you count over here at the 14th character, that's where you find the beginning of the word delivery logistics. Now what it's going to do is it's going to divide these uh, this list of values, um, one divided by that. So it's going to divide it by that value error, which is going to be unsuccessful. It will divide by 14, which will be successful. And of course, the, sec the third value error is going to be unsuccessful. So let's evaluate that. So we still get, still get a value error. Uh, and in the middle, we do get a number, a decimal number. And what it's going to do now is it's going to bring this particular set of uh, output into the lookup. So the lookup is going to look up the number 2 within this array. So it's not going to find it there. But it will find it there. And the reason why it will find it there is it's going to look and see if. And what lookup does is it does an approximate match. So if it doesn't find number two here, it's going to go 
back. It, you can just think of it as there's really just one record here, 0 0.07, etc. right? So it's, just pretend that there is a row here and it's just that value. So lookup's gonna look up that and it doesn't see the number two, so it's gonna try to look at another row. There is no two there, so it's gonna go back to that particular row and then bring back the value that's there. So what it's gonna do is it doesn't find two, but it will bring back the value that is less than two, previous to two, and that's gonna be that long decimal there. And it's gonna associate that place setting with the output range B2 to B4, which is gonna be the second one, right? So from that list, it discounts that because that's, that, that's an error. It discounts that one because that's an error. And it's only gonna bring that one back because that's the only one available. So when I click evaluate, you'll see that it brings just that one back. So that's how it works. A little, it's a little bit amazing how that actually works and in the simplicity of it. So instead of having that huge uh, index particular setting, which works just great. But if, and this takes a little bit more time to kind of think about how it works, but I, and, and it still works just great. But I really like uh, the simplicity of lookup function here in order to do a search in a string of text to just look up a value and bring back another value that corresponds with it. So that's how you can search for values in the cell to perform a lookup on some specific text. Uh, if you have a chance, go to Deborah's Contextures blog. She's got a lot of great stuff on Excel and I highly recommend it. And this was a great solution that uh, was provided by one of her um, fans, I guess, Anchor. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.